Cardiff and for London. So yeah, the weather stays quite chilly over the next few days. The winds from Storm Barrow will slowly ease, but then this weekend it turns significantly milder with temperatures pushing back into double figures. That's the latest weather. Bye for now. Today at 6, the fallout continues after that Downing Street video appearing to make fun of a party during because lockdown. Because she wants, you, she wants to the be The number able... 10 aide seen laughing with colleagues on the video was emotional today. She resigned a short while ago. To all of you who lost loved ones, who endured intolerable loneliness and who struggled with your businesses, I am truly sorry. That video dating from a year ago has brought calls for Boris Johnson's resignation but he still claims that the party didn't happen. I apologise. I apologise unreservedly for the offence that it has caused up and down the country, and I apologise for the impression that it gives. Millions of people now think the Prime Minister was taking them for fools yeah. and that they were lied to. Now, we are expecting a news conference in Downing Street on extra COVID measures for England. We'll join that as and when it happens. Also tonight on this extended edition of BBC News at Six, Pfizer-BioNTech announced that three doses of their vaccine can neutralise the new Omicron variant of the virus. And a terrible start for England on the first day of the first Ashes test in Brisbane. Welcome to BBC News at Six, which comes today from the BBC headquarters in Salford in Greater Manchester. Now, Boris Johnson has faced more calls for his resignation today, following the emergence of that video which has caused shockwaves at Westminster and much further afield. The video showed his staff joking about a Christmas party last December during the strict lockdown, when many families were unable to visit their loved ones.